Okay, so we've identified a sort of underground bunk here for our studio. Specifically, this is the this is the room I'm going to use behind me. It's about three and a half by three meters, with one completely smooth blank white wall behind, and uh, rock on the other two sides. And then there's an opening on this side over here, which we'll need to close up somehow. Now the space was being used as, as a studio by an artist who was obviously very unhappy with their work. Mona Lisa! And this over here is the wall that I want to use for my green screen. It's wide enough so there's a little bit on either side. I'm busy touching the, the ceiling right there. Obviously I don't have decent lighting yet, that's going to be one of the next steps. Now you can make a green screen just with a, a sheet of fabric. The disadvantage with a, with a piece of fabric is it gets creases, it gets dirty, um, sometimes the wind catches it and sometimes you get light in behind it, uh, depending on where it's hanging. And that can spoil the effect. One of the things I want to be able to do is change camera angles from time to time. Like that, you know, maybe like that. So that one isn't just getting this flat talking head effect. Especially for the fire making videos, sometimes I'm going to be on the floor showing people what to do. The, I'd, I'd like to be able to drop another image in behind that, including possibly some sky. So this is the sort of angle we're talking about now. But you can see the ceiling. So if I were to do the green screen up to there and then the white, occasionally you'd see the, the white of the ceiling. And the whole idea is to get the ceiling green as well. Now we've got an electrical plug point over here and it's got a cable running all the way along the floor. I want to paint the green onto the floor but with this cable over here and with the, the joint, with the line of the joint, I'm going to get a line on the green screen. And up at the top there as well. To get rid of that and to get a curve between the two surfaces, I'm going to use this cornice polystyrene based product that's very light. The brand name New, New Cornice. At the same time I'm just going to hide that cable away behind the cornice because, because actually that's a very handy plug over there. To stick our cornice in place I'm going to use this paintable white acrylic sealant. Available at a hardware store for probably three four dollars. And then we want to fill up the gaps, fill up the gaps over there and over there to get a nice smooth finish and for that we're going to use the acrylic sealant as well. Actually there's something else important we need and that's a pair of old jeans I think. <laughs> 